Alright guys, type 1 if you guys are ready for the fun now. Um, I got a message yesterday. Um, so anyways, I got a message from this guy, okay? And he messages me this. He says, Hey Dantes, I am a therapist, and I feel a conversation with your team will help you win SIBO Wow. I've been watching your scrims on account, but thank you guys. Need someone to moderate the conversation between teammates. You guys are good players, but do you not feel that the lack of communication is holding you back? I noticed that you all compete against each other Yo, on calls, and then look towards your coach to say who is right or wrong, when in reality it doesn't matter who is right or wrong, just that everyone's opinion is listened to. You're a smart guy. I know you already must feel that communication is a big issue within the team, but I also can sense you're unsure how to fix this. As a team captain, you have a lot of weight. Men would crumble, but you have not. With some guidance, you can be the leader everyone needs right now. So, now he's saying that he can give us a therapy session free of charge. <laughs> Alright, so wait, let me, join with, uh, let me join with the team now. I will boil you in the brazen bull, Dantus. Hello. Wait, what did I do? Why? Why are you gonna boil me? I can't say. I know, Shane. Are you guys ready for therapy? Hello? Wait. No one cares? Are Wait, no, I, <laughs> I think the airplane's still queuing, so he won't join the therapy session. That's the perfect timing for him to join, because you're allowed to He said, nah, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know what he means. I know what he means. You guys want Uber Eats codes or not? I need to know. Hello? No, fuck your Uber Eats. Just get them. Bro. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on. Uh, I'll get. I'll give some to Ben, your model, right. maybe okay. Tf Blade, maybe your girlfriend, but not you. All right. It looks like Tf Blade doesn't want to join therapy. GG. <laughs> Tar said you have to come. <laughs> Um, hello. Can you guys hear me? Yeah, we can hear uh, you. Hey, are you a licensed um, professional? I'm Josh. Yes. So I'm a, uh, a youth worker and counselor. You can think of me as a type of therapist uh, for young adults. Uh, I have a bachelor's in uh, like social work. I'm not a, technically a therapist, so I don't as I apologize, but I'm I'm working towards it. Okay, it's honestly good enough. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, in my day to day, um, I normally do uh, one on ones with like many young adults in person and stuff. I specialize in um, things like depression, anxiety, and suicide, and I've been doing this for around two years. Okay. 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 Yeah. So I'm not here to wait. So I'm not here to diagnose okay. guys. Yeah. Okay. Wait. Um, yeah. just want to facilitate a discussion. How old are you, Josh? I'm 23 years old. Okay. Sounds good. All right, so we'll let you take the lead. What's the first thing you want to say? Yeah, so um, I just wanted to uh, facilitate a discussion with you guys. So uh, basically, is there things in your um, scrims that you may want to work on? Or have you uh, thought about what's not been working? Maybe your communication? Uh, Actually, yes. That you, that you think you're good? Um, Anywhere you can start, uh, I'll right. just hear from you guys first of all. I okay. would gladly take the stand here. Okay, My go. My carry is very rude to me in lane, passive aggressive, and flames me. I'm doing my best auto field picking champs first time. And un unironically, when I'm on sleep, I have enough sleep to actually perform. I think I've been doing pretty well. The last few scrims, I don't know, creatine cycles just fucked me or something. I can't actually play as well as I usually would. I'm just sitting here with this fucking. Guy down my fucking neck the entire time, breathing down, flaming me every single time. The tension was not like as bad as this. The tension was like more of like a post vault thing, which I, I think is a lot better. You model during the game every single time. Ah, but my support CBA, and it's every single time. And I think I'm doing pretty good. I'll do even better on stage. We'll All right, uh, Mr. Joshua, what do you think about this behavior? Yeah, okay, there's a lot to unpack there. Um, does anyone want to uh, retaliate or like discuss on that first? Um, I Yamato, is there anything that. you want to say about that? Yeah. Okay, what do you want to say? That he should just play better. <laughs> well, I gave you a reason as to why I'm not playing as better yeah, as I can. Yeah, that's fine. I respect, I respect it, and I hope in Brazil it's going to be better. <laughs> we can win right, guys. okay. Um, playing better. So, uh, first of all, I think this is uh, a topic on your guys' views of the game. So, I'm, I'm not a league professional like you guys. I'm not a challenger. I just play casually. 
Um, but I, I can see that you guys have differing points of view, right? So that's that's the first basic thing that I'm picking up on. So Tarzan, you may see the game in a different light than uh, Yamato's and uh, different to Dante's and different to Detention and TF Blade. Um, so uh, first of all, I think, um, can we agree that uh, we we all see the game in a different light, right? We all have yes. a, a different way of like playing the yes. game. But our, our main goal, our main objective is all the same. Winning. Right? Yeah, hitting the nexus, correct. Yeah, so I think um, if you think about it like any, any sport, right? Because league is a, a sport at the end of the game. It's a team game. If you think about soccer, uh, so you don't know the formation of the enemy team. Uh, you don't know where exactly your own teammates will be. You have to pass to the next open person. Isn't this the same uh, when we think about leave legends right so tarzan you may have a play in mind that you want to uh, accomplish but dantes you may have uh, some other different play in mind and Gragas the, nami incident yes Gragas nami incident perfect yeah example. yeah the real issue is um you guys don't see each other's points of view but you both you both uh see the winning play for the game right so i think that's where where we're falling we're falling apart yes yeah and what are your what are your thoughts on this like how does it make you feel I mean, when Tarzan has a play in mind, and uh, maybe Dante isn't following up on it, or I think or, what, uh, Yamato isn't following up on it. Yeah, a good example ahead. was yesterday, where the tension was like one v nine on Zoe, and he kept saying, "Let's play off bubble," and no one knew how to play off his bubble, and like we literally lost a guaranteed win of Soul. No, they got Soul. We had three inhibitors. I know we had three inhibitors, but we lost because we didn't listen to tension, like know how to play off of him. So I don't know if it was like a a grasping thing where like we didn't know what he meant but like how to set up the actual like siege or if we weren't like in a position to actually do what he said so let me i'll interject for a second here i think that one of the big things uh with our team especially is the fact that making your voice heard is something that's kind of hard to do right um just because like in general with things like tilt that come into play with things like uh, different game views and all that stuff i feel like people will sometimes call for stuff and there isn't really much follow-up on it right and that's why i was thinking that i think that one of the biggest things that we have to do as a team is just like i think learning how to like trust each other's gameplay is probably like the biggest thing that may that'll make us go from like being a team that's just like kind of whatever to a team that actually is able to like what like win games even with like two losing lanes or like a lot of people underperforming just by listening to the one player that like knows what to do you know right right i see what you're saying so what's stopping you from like trusting one person on the team why haven't you appointed appointed like one person on the team <clears throat> i was just thinking that i think it's more or less like an ego issue i feel like when we get into loading screen or even get into the game before anything starts we should just all realize that we are all five challenger players that have one objective and it's to win the game rather than thinking of our previous accomplishments we should just focus on uplifting each other and trying to do the best we can to win the match rather than being like oh i would play this differently or oh i would have done that or like oh do this do that like the little like snide comments could just wait until later and i feel like people think they're better than others obviously and that they're allowed to think that that's perfectly valid but in a team environment you should always treat all of your teammates with respect and equally think of them as equals rather than beneath them or above them yeah you Great. go girl um, um, you yeah, first, out of curiosity yeah. we should be like more transparent with these wordings yeah i do i respect the honesty um detention thank you for that does anyone have uh any any thoughts on that your thoughts on ego in the team or it should uh, be more how does it make you, yeah how does it make you feel when detention says uh he thinks that you guys think you're better than than everyone else on the team i feel targeted <laughs> i know but i didn't say you specifically i just said everyone else like i'm saying everyone rather um thinks that they're better than one person or they're better at one thing than another person and then when we're in a game um if you see someone fail you think to yourself oh i could have done that better rather than oh let's help them fix that issue instead of flaming them and you could be like oh let me teach you how to do this after the game is done rather than like just like 
getting heated in the moment. Like perfect here, example. Right? Perfect Jeff example is when... perfect example. Jeff Wade's on. No, here. no. I'm 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 saying perfect example is when um um Tarzan I'm not Tarzan, um Dantes was uh jungling and he was playing really poorly and he knew he was playing poorly rather than us like um talking about it. Um, like two or three people just kept berating him over and over again, and obviously that's not going to do anything. Yeah, so I, I think that what the attention was saying was kind of true, in the sense that a lot of the time, I think that the issue is that because now we have like communication with the team, it's almost like we feel like we can play as all five players, okay? Um, like, how many times have you guys heard like someone say, like I've heard Tarzan say it, right? If I could play all five roles at the same time, I'd be ranked one, two, three, four, five, right? And, be faker, yeah. Yeah. So that's that's the reason why I feel like one of the things is that now that we're in a team environment and you can make your voice heard, it's actually a little bit of a drawback in the sense where now you think the way that you view the game is gonna happen is how it's actually gonna pan out, right? So I think that part of the part of the learning curve is understanding, hey, just because I think this is the right player, this is what I should do or this is what my teammate should do, doesn't mean that you should play off what you think is going to happen, or that you should like comment on what you think should happen, but rather you should be focused on still taking the, I guess, like soul cue mentality of reacting to what's actually in front of you. Do you see what I'm getting at? Can I just cut you uh, off real quick? I think you guys are giving like so very... At yapping, bro. <laughs> I agree, yes, yeah, so that too. Yapping. You guys are very like giving really pertinent information, like really relevant stuff, but the problem is not being like as generic and direct as you can be. So I was hoping you guys could like make it a bit more specific. Like when detention has two or three people or people, like you like bring up that point, can you be like a bit more specific? I did I, 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 I gave a example. Two or two, three people that were uh belitt belitt belittling Dantes. No no, I'm I'm saying it's it's mainly you, Yamato, and Blade. You did the same thing to them, though. Literally. I I understand. But you didn't say yourself, so you're not being truthful right now. You should have yes, said our, our team. Yeah, our entire team is flaming Dantes. I'm, I'm, <laughs> so I just want to be giving, like honest here. I'm giving an example. I have flamed Dantes. I understand, but I have not flamed him to this, the extent of borderline degrading or harassing. He should have been playing a game. <laughs> we should have had the fucking T1 buses outside his house after that performance. And also, yeah, I okay. feel like another thing that needs to be done, as like especially on this team, is um, playing to win rather than playing for emotion. Because mm. I'm an emotional player, and when I get tilted, I play extremely poor. Tarzan's giga emotional. Same thing with Blade. All of us are super emotional players, and we have to realize. The second we let emotions get into the game, we're automatically at a disadvantage because we're playing sloppy and poorly. Because yeah. outside of okay. League of Legends, Tarzan is like one of the nicest, like soft people I, I know. Aww, but when League sweet. but when League be. when League gets to him, he gets really, really, really upset and it makes him play really, really, really poorly. And <clears throat> it it gets same thing for me. I do the same exact thing. So when it comes to um just being in the game, we just need to realize if we're starting to go into those really dark, stressful situations that we can bring each other out of it and move on to the next thing. Yeah, detention, I, I completely agree. agree. Yeah, I think um, it's because you guys are all uh, like league professionals, like you're all challenger players and you care like a lot about the game. You also care a lot about um, winning this tournament, right? So you want to give it your all and you want um, everyone else to give it uh, the same effort that that you give, right? Let's take um let's take a little detour into like criticism and flaming, right? So I think um I think there's basically there's two types of flame, right? There's there's positive flame and there's negative flame. The negative flame is uh, completely detrimental to the game, right? It's just uh, maybe you had a bad day, maybe there's a champ on the enemy team that you don't like, uh, so you just start like hurling insults out, right? You start flaming people just for the sake of it, just because it, it takes the edge off, you know, it's like a punching bag for you, right? But then there's flame that that comes from a, a positive a positive point of view, right? So how do you learn the game of League of Legends? Like, how do you get better? How do you become a challenger, right? Um, it's through gaining experience. And what exactly is experience, right? Losing. Why do we, why do we, um, why do we, 
why do we gain um, <laughs> needs coaching? Yeah, uh, why do we gain more experience from playing the game? Right? Can anyone else this? Because trial and error. So if you exactly, keep, yeah, I mean, pract like practice doesn't make perfect, but like you can practice the same thing over and over again. Doesn't mean you're actually doing it properly. So you'll always consistently be garbage. The second you put in effort to actively change your practice habits is when you start improving. Right, right. It's from your failures, and this doesn't yes. just um, apply to League of Legends, right? It plays. It applies, it applies to everything. Skill. Yes, like any skill in life, right? You have to learn through failure and through like repetition. So, uh, you're you basically get punished, like you die in League, and then you're like, oh, I made a mistake. I I got to improve upon this, right? But what happens when you make a mistake and you're not punished, or you're not immediately punished, right? And someone else on your team calls you out for it. They're like, hey, this guy just made a mistake. Uh, he's not getting punished. He's not dead. He's not learning anything. And I think you take it upon yourself that you're like, okay, he's not getting punished by the game. I have to reprimand him myself. You know, I have to punish him myself. So I'm going to hurl an insult at him. I'm going to say, hey, you suck. You know, you, you played this wrong. Why did you do that? Right? And so that's um, flame from a positive point of view because you want them to get better, but it's still flame. Right? Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. yeah right. So there there is like a there is one thing that I did want to say though is that I feel like one of the things too that's kind of like keeping a lot of this like flame uh in like uh I guess like prevalent during scrims, right? Where you're going to have like TF Blade or Tarzan or um Yamato flaming each other or sometimes like the tension might bring something up and then afterwards it'll be like a little passive aggressive about it, which has happened before Ben you can like tell me it hasn't. Oh. Um, of course. Yeah. So I feel like one of the reasons why, 100%, is because people are still in the mentality of like the solo queue mentality, right? Where it's kind of like you see something as like an immediate game, right? So like your mind is on the immediate game, like, oh, um, I th this game is going bad, like this is cancer, whatever it might be. But I feel like once people start shifting their mindset more towards the fact of like, no, this is like a team that we're locked in with for the next 45 days, that then things will change. Because including scrims, it's literally two months of us working together. Two months. So even if yeah. there is someone that's like making mistakes or someone that isn't doing exactly what you want them to do or stuff like that, I think the problem with flaming is that it's kind of like you're you're almost making it seem as if you're not going to see them again next game, you know? When in reality, you're going to be playing like hundreds of games in the future with this person right so once we shift our mentality more towards um i guess like a team oriented one i i'm hoping that it'll become like a lot better and i think like us living together is going to help it a lot i think we should also do like once every two days like a team meal where either for like breakfast or dinner or something like that everyone just takes like a 10 minute yeah like a 10 minute break from your stream just so everyone can like be at a table or like once a week team building activities whether it be like us playing soccer outside or some shit like that you know but i feel like yes we have to play soccer please yeah your mama said he's professional right we ought to see this shit <laughs> yep. so also i was um 10 years ago <laughs> i wanna what's it called i wanna take like accountability for like passive aggression and like super emotional me um too. i'm i'm very much not used to this many people interacting with me yeah and i talked with tarzan and dantas off stream and they were like our like our chats really value us and they see you as someone that's like a threat to you obviously so they protect you very hard but um and I'm trying my hardest not to come across as super harsh because you guys, like, you guys know me personally, like, yeah. in real life, you know I'm not actually yeah. like that. But when well, I try yeah. to be passive, when I try to be, when I'm being passive aggressive, it's because I'm trying my hardest, I'm trying my hardest not to be actually aggressive. Yeah. Because I was just going to have all of your chats just play me for zero. Well, even so if I'm completely, even if I'm completely correct, yeah, like it still would happen. So, regardless. Yeah, I think uh, the problem here is that like just like ninety percent of those chatters that watch are just there to like hate. I mean, well, it's, like the problem, you just yeah, have to realize I... that like some of them just want to give cancer. No, and no, they're not really worth anything or like worth giving attention to, and you just have to realize that as a streamer. Yeah, but yeah. I don't. I don't think it's just that. I also think it's because like 
the thing is that when you become to the point of like, I don't know, like two, three thousand viewers, whatever, or like me and Tarzan, right? We've done like a bunch of dual cons in the past. Me and Mado, we've also have, right? Stuff like this. It's kind of like your chat gets used to the other person, right? But the problem is that um, even though like you have been on a bunch of trips with me and all that stuff, it's like our chats still aren't used to you, if that makes sense. And that's why anytime anything like aggressive comes out or passive aggressive comes out, then it's like they don't have like a reason to not flame so then they go do it, right? Which I'm not saying is good. I'm saying it's like horrible. But it's just like the way that mentality works, you know, of like, oh, this is like the new guy and he's like, um, he's like saying something. All right, let's just go after him, right? So that's why that's the way that I see it happening, right? Um, but I think that definitely over the course of the weeks, especially, especially once we start playing, I think that'll like just be almost eradicated. You know what I mean? Like when people see like, oh, like he's actually cool. He's actually performing. He's doing really well, right? When they see you like do it. Because the thing that I've learned, especially when it comes to league is that your performance, a lot of the time will be related to how people view you. So if you just keep playing well and all that shit, then over time, you're going to see a lot of the hate that you're getting or a lot of the hate that you're seeing. You know, like, there will be less. But, I mean, even me, for example, right? Like, I have a bad game, and then I have some guy coming from your model stream named, like, <laughs> Cassidy and Capuchungus, who, like, tells me to... You know, like, it does always happen. Uh, you, like, all all of you guys, like, are so good at dealing with hate, and I'm very much trying my heart. Like, I have been, like, minimizing my uh, chat when I'm in-game, because my first... The first couple of scrims, I had That's it open, true, it was bro. very, That's very... True. We are all affected by the hate. We're just good at not showing it. Yeah. I'm not yeah. exactly. I love that shit. It fuels me. Mm, Tarzan, Tarzan, I'm going to yeah, be honest with you. Tar Tarzan, Tarzan, I'll tell you why I think that's a Capuchungus moment. I'll tell you why I think that's a Capuchungus moment. Because I still remember your reaction when it was Shadow Dogs Unleashed and your chat was being super supportive. I think the thing with you, honestly, oh, is I that... meant negativity, not positivity. That's yeah, different. no, but I mean that I think when it comes to, like negativity and shit like that, the problem is that you're just so accustomed to it that you think it fuels you. When in reality, if you were to have like, imagine you just have a chat full of like thousands of people telling you like, you got this, Tars, like we believe you and all that shit. Like, I think that honestly would fuel you more. Like, no bullshit. <sighs> Maybe you're right. I think the biggest thing for this trip for us, honestly, is the fact that a lot of us are like kind of toxic and sulky, right? Ben, you don't really have that stigma on you, but like me, Tarzan, uh, Yamato, like TF Blade, we all do. And I think the biggest thing is if we can overcome the toxicity within our team, and then all the viewers will be able to see like, holy shit, like, these guys are actually like making progress and then we take that into solo queue and start like doing better and better and better i think this could be insane progression not just for our careers but also for like us as people our image within the scene and everything so that's why i think it's like super important that we start taking like attitude seriously because this this could literally be the precursor for like an insane era for every single one of us percent agree. I agree, yeah, brother. I completely agree. Another, another. I completely agree, Dante. That's I'm. I'm really I'm impressed. Kiss you in the mouth. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm really impressed that you came to this. Um, this conclusion. Yeah, I think it's um very important, like especially in uh team team scenarios to build up each other, right? Mm -hmm. Because uh, in in sports especially, right? If you if you go to a sports stadium, there's like hundreds hundreds of people like shouting cheering your team on but there's hundreds of other people on the enemy team like on the enemy um side of the of the field yep. like uh, also booing you right mm -hmm. and it's the people um it's the people who are closest to you that can like build you up and and keep you keep you accountable yeah. right and and tell you hey hey you're doing a good job you should never undervalue compliments right because uh, it's it's like the analogy with the wi-fi right so uh, when, you, when your internet works perfectly, no one notices it, right? You just go on along with your day. But as soon as the Wi-Fi goes down, you're like, man, I have like shit internet. This, this router sucks, right? And, and the thing is, um, you only remember the router like sucking, right? But, but you don't remember like when your internet was actually good. Yeah. Right? And it's the same with like, your team. If, you're, if your teammate like makes a mistake or say like in football, you know, they, they fumble a football 
if they if they make a mistake, everyone will like remember that fumble, right? Yeah. Can I but just no like remember all the that they they caught? Can, can yeah, I just like ahead. build off that? Because I just had this like idea that kind of struck me, and I thought that if everyone hears it, would be interesting. So I think that one of the biggest things is like the reason why in solo queue, right, we get mad when a teammate underperforms is because you go into the game with the mindset of like I want to win, and every time you see a mistake then for you, it's like, that guy is impeding your chances of winning, and now you just want to, like, punish them for it, in a way, right? And the reason why I think that mindset has to shift for our Brazil team is because for our Brazil team, if we can work on just communication and becoming better with each other and interacting with each other, then success will literally just follow. So the biggest thing isn't for us, I think... Uh, sitting there and be like, oh, you made a mistake, like, that's fucked, whatever. I think you should start hating the, I guess, like, gut instinct reaction of flaming or getting mad more than the mistake that was being made that, like, caused you to feel that way. Because if we can actually get this, like, positive atmosphere going, and I I swear, like, if everyone feels, like, supported by their team, then the cool thing is that now it's not your team that's the enemy. It's the enemy team that's the enemy. And then it becomes a lot easier for you to gear all this like negative energy towards the people that actually deserve it, which is the enemy team, right? Yeah, yeah, I 100% agree. Yeah, I think, um, yeah, compliment, compliments are very, very underrated. And it's like for many reasons. So I've worked with like um, people who have been on teams before and team captains, like of basketball and things like that. And uh, I think Dante's, you had like um, the right thinking um, on one of your streams when you said uh, everyone go around and say one nice thing about each other. They did that game, right? That's like on the right track. Yeah. Um, but I think it, it feels kind of forced, right? Yeah. It feels like uh, when your kids and and your mom makes you like apologize to your brother and you say you're sorry, um, but you and him both know like it's not really yeah exactly um, a, a good apology, but you accept it anyways, right? Mm-hmm. So I think. Um, during the game you should like give give little compliments to each other right so if someone gets like a kill you should just say well played you know or clean e or good kill and it's not it's not blazing right it's not it's not um like um uh being like too 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 passive or whatever there's many benefits first it boosts like player morale and confidence right if you say good job to someone it it lets them trust themselves more because they know that they did a good job right i do it all the time actually yeah (laughs) <laughs> I have seen Parson do it. I have seen it. Yeah, the tension second does it too. Team morale and Dante right? as well. D- the model never. You... <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, everyone should be doing it. I agree. Um, it boosts team morale, right? It takes the pressure off other players. So if you if you hear, um, for example, hey, uh, good kill, good kill, bot lane, right? It takes the pressure off your top laner because, um, like behind behind the scenes, like you know. Uh, subconsciously, they're like, "Oh, they're winning bot lane," and then they're gonna be, uh, they're gonna say, "Oh, okay, I guess I don't need to need to worry about performing top lane, right?" Uh, and this comes into like anxiety, so it, like it decreases the anxiety that you feel. It decreases the cortisol levels. If you don't know what cortisol does, it um, it it's basically like it starts your fight or flight response, um, and it it makes you like slow your breathing and it makes you actually perform like a lot better than you than you normally would, right? Yep. It's like mind controlling yourself into into thinking that that your your team is winning and you perform better, right? It helps you mentally. Yep, I agree. Yamato, is there anything that yeah. you want to say? Because you've been quiet. No. <laughs> Something. Yamato, why aren't you more encouraging to your teammates? <laughs> yes, I will in Brazil. Okay. okay why not in scrims? Uh, but I wasn't. I was encouraging when we were like playing well. No, you never were. It just feels like you exist. Whether we win or lose, you just exist. <laughs> no one else feels like that? I mean, I I kind of do as well, but I feel like that's just because he's playing with a lot of ping, and he's yeah like trying to entertain his chat rather than actually try it in scrims. But I yeah, know no, when, it, like, com- when, it, when it comes to, like, what is actually... No, when it actually comes to performing, like, I know you'll perform. Yes, but well, I don't know what this guy's yapping about now. Like, why do what? you want to I'm stop not, drama with me? Not huh? you, Ben Tarzan. What no. drama? I'm trying to get you to be more vocal and like to understand your mentality. There's no drama. You're just taking it the wrong way. This is helpful criticism. Constructive. 
It's not helpful criticism. I will be I will be trying my hardest and I will be When's the last time you said good job in your entire life? <laughs> I don't know, the last scrim. Someone clip it. Your mom the Seri game dollars. The Seri game? Was it sarcastic? I, no, I literally said that we like all played well. Like what? Yeah, I think, Tarzan, what I would say is, like, because the thing is, you have to also understand to a certain point that it's, like, when it comes to scrims for, like, me, you, Detention, TF Blade, I feel like for us it was something where we all kind of deep down wanted to scrim, you know? Like, we wanted to scrim, we wanted to, like, play, we wanted all these things, and Yamato going into it, right, without necessarily wanting to, but then getting to a point at the end where he wasn't actively complaining about it, I think was huge progress for him, right? So, like, the thing is, I remember I would ask him, like, yo, can we scrim? And he'd be like, ah, CBA, like, don't want to, right? But then at the end of it, even though he had said he would only do, like, one more block, we were getting to the point where we were playing, like, five, six scrim games a day, and he would never be like, okay, guys, I just want to go now, you know? So I think that the thing is, he is making not noticeable progress in my eyes com like, uh, coming from that. And I think that once we actually get to Brazil as well, it'll be like a lot better for him too. But I think right now it was just like the fact of like playing on high ping um, and all this kind of like stuff where he d feels like he can't actually like perform, you know, like to the best of his ability. That just makes him subconsciously or even consciously not want to interact as much. But it's like once we get to Brazil... We're going there, everyone, with the mentality of, okay, now we want to scrim, we want to play, we want to go crazy, we want to win. And then I think that's when we'll really all be able to, like, go as crazy as we're able to, and that we, I know we'll, like, we will. Yeah, he knows what he, he knows what I mean. Yeah. yeah. I know what you yeah, mean, no, you know that, what I mean, that accurate? you know what mm -hmm. Ben means, I know what I mean, and you know what, what about you me? mean. <laughs> I don't know, you just, like... <laughs> Fuck does that mean? <laughs> What's it called? I have a topic to talk about. Yeah, what? Go. Yeah, go ahead. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I'm very, very, very excited to live with everyone because um, growing up, I didn't have like, I didn't hang out with my brothers a lot, and like even when I lived with Dantes, it was like I like actually had a brother because I didn't have one growing up, and like. With Tars, Don, like, it's literally, like, I'm in a house of just people that are all, like, we all have the same interests. It's literally, like, living with, like, family. And it, like, galvanizes everyone to, like, actually improve and yeah. do yeah, well. 100%. And it's it's so crazy to me that, like, this, like, it's wild. Like, when people talk shit, even about, like, Yamato, Dantas, Tia, Blade, Tarzan, like, all the time, like... They have no idea who you actually are as a person. And, like, I'm just going to be real, real. Like, off stream, I have never, like, I have never seen anyone with a work ethic that you have, Dantas. It's insane. It's so commendable. Same thing with, like, Tars, like, and Yamato. Like, you guys are just wow, fucking great. And when we're in Brazil, like, the fact that we can just be around each other and just keep lift uplifting each other over and over again, like in my opinion, it's unlosable if yeah. we just keep. Because I agree. Because I want to say two things. The first thing that I want to say is like building off on that point. I okay. The way that I view it is like for years, you know, you guys always hear league streamers talk about how like, oh, I'm different on stream. This game just gets to me. This game just gets to me. Like it's just whatever, right? But I feel like when we're in Brazil that won't be able to be an excuse anymore, if you want me to be honest. Because the reason why League gets to you is because you're just playing a game, and to you, like, the four people on your team aren't actually people, right? But the thing is that when we're going to be in Brazil, it's like all of the teammates are people that not only you know, but that you're living with and that you see every day. So I think that over time, maybe not in the first week, maybe not in the second, right? But I definitely think that over time, people like us especially, will be able to like really show who we actually are, right? Rather than what solo queue has like turned us into with like community perceptions. And the other thing that I wanted to say, I think that when it comes to like the Brazil trip and everything, I think that we have the opportunity here to do something that the league scene has literally never seen before. Because Agreed. we're 
because we're like five like uh, league streamers, right? Going to be living in the same house. And as far as I know, I've never seen a league like gaming content house or anything. And we're going there. And I feel like we have the possibility to set a precedent within the scene of like how things should go. And we can lead by success, right? Because we're going there and like we have endless opportunities to make it interesting, to make it fun, to make it dynamic, to bring in the viewers and engage everyone. And that's why I'm just hoping that it doesn't really devolve into like what it used to be in the past, you know, where it's like, uh, we'd go to Korea and okay, sit in room 12, 14 hours a day, just playing solo queue. Right. I feel like yeah. over here, if we have more of, I guess like an in-person touch to it, and we will be forced to with like the scrims and everything, but then also with just like uh, team building activities with all of this kind of stuff that it'll make it insane, not just for us, but for the viewers as well. You know, like you see five uh, North American slash Europe content creators go to Brazil, living in a house together, doing all this fun shit, and then just completely taking over a tournament. Like that's a story. You know what I mean? And also, I'm glad that you brought it up because the past trips we've been on, like, um, every, I, you can, you're, I have literally every single day, I'd try to get you out of your fucking room. Yeah, yeah, I, would, I agree. I'd be like, oh, let's hang out, let's, let's do something. But like, like I said, your work ethic is crazy yeah. and you had a goal and you need to stick to it. Yeah. But obviously, work life balance is definitely a thing. Well, so, Ben, this is the thing that I want to say is that for me, I don't even view this as work life balance. Because the thing for me is that I see us doing like team building stuff and all that stuff together as like we're building up our team, we're building up our like synergy, we're building up like our relation with one another, which directly contributes like the tournament, right? Because right. when we, yeah, because for, for me, when I go to Brazil, solo queue is just like the secondary thing, right? Like the tournament is the main one, so that's why. Agree. Yeah, so I f I feel like for everyone, it'll be like pretty easy to be able to say, okay, let's just like do all this stuff. I think the hardest person is probably going to be TF Blade because I know that he just like loves doing his like eighteen hours straight, like no mic, no cam. He goes like, to the club every weekend. What are you talking wait, wait, about? No, 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 no one he's tryharding though. No one he's yeah, trying. No, and all of you know Ash. Like off stream, uh, like I I talked about this. Uh, I think you were there when I was talking about this. Ash is one of, like, he is so fucking funny and nice in person. Like, yeah. he's hilarious. And if we can manage his, um, like, emotions when it comes to League, like, yeah. he'll be insane. Honestly, in these scrims, he's been doing extremely well. I agree. Like, yeah, recently he's been better. Yeah, very, very, very good. Obviously, there's some times where he's, like, upset, like all of us are, but, like, um, like I said, living to get, living together will change everything a lot. Yeah. yeah. That's incredible. Dude, that sounds really hyped. Um, yeah, I'm glad that you guys all feel like the same way about living with each other and that uh you should take all those like small wins, you know, those small like uh those small like really, really uh helpful and, and peaceful things in life, right? So like uh th that'll really help you build your friendship and stuff. Um, I think um one of the topics I wanted to, to bring up was um, in regards to the criticism, right? So how you guys give criticism. Because I think you guys are like really, you guys are really good friends, right? Yeah. Um, but the way that you that you say criticism uh, can sometimes be like a little bit direct and a little bit harsh. Would you agree? Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Okay. So I think um, this exercise, I'm, I'm sure like some of you might know it. It's like called the criticism sandwich. Right? So you give a compliment, then you give a criticism, and then you give another compliment. Right? And this is like a, a thing that you have to it's not something that you can you can pick up easily, right? You have to practice it and you have to and you have to do it. So if you um if you think about if you watch like America's Got Talent or X Factor, the judges on this show do this like phenomenally, right? They give a compliment first, then a criticism, and then they give another compliment. So say say you uh, like have a dance act, right? Um then the judge might say, uh yeah, you were in time with the music. I, th I thought the dance moves didn't flow well together, but I loved your energy up there, right? That's a whole lot better than saying, like, dude, you sucked up there. The dance moves <laughs> didn't fit together at all, right? Yeah. Because then the dance people would just, like, think, whoa, I sucked. Nah, screw these judges. Like, what do they know? Right? Yep. So I think um, 
your words have weight to them. And especially coming from teammates, you don't want your teammates to ignore you. You want them to instead listen to you. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Okay. So I need you guys to do something for me. Right? I need you to say, um, repeat after me. I will compliment my teammates. I will compliment, I will my, compliment teammates. my teammates. I will compliment my teammates. Yeah. Yamada? He has, has a grin on his face. He has a grin on his face, by the way, when he said that. Make him redo it. <laughs> me? You, dumbass, you're the captain. Oh, sorry. Yes. Redo it. I will compliment uh, my teammates. We need to... Yeah, Tarzan! Punishment. Tarzan! Punishment. He has a grin on his face when he's saying it. He was okay, serious about it. You know, it. I'm going to be honest. I had an idea. We built a crucifix in front of the Brazil house, <laughs> and whoever's like mean gets crucified for a day with duct tape. Not it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I need you guys to repeat one coming. more thing. I need you guys to repeat one more thing. Yep. I need you to say, I will not flame my teammates. I will not flame my teammates. I will not flame my teammates. Tarzan. Also, my um, teammates. Before, before we. Uh, Continue on. There is something that yep. I would like to say to everyone. Mm -hmm. Um Yamara didn't say it, by the way, sorry to get you off. Just gonna put that out there. <laughs> yeah, Yamada, would you like to would you like to repeat the the mantra? I will not flame my teammates. Oh. Right, very good, very good, thank you. Oh. <laughs> um go ahead, the The uh like I get it, your your chat sometimes like say like create like they say like horrible things i get it but um like severe severe homophobia and like constantly like, berating like get the zesty fucker out of the call or like zest fest or some shit no, like, I, I think listen listen i think just the problem with that shit is that he never actually moderated his chat so all the freak insects in his chat are just like can just type whatever, like, whatever yes. you know. Yeah, I, I know. That's, I know. That's just I, know. The problem. I think if like Dante's mods actually moderate. Wait, is that just wait? Is it just my chat? Of course, it's just your chat. If I see one singular person in my chat like say something about like Ben being gay, I just insta him and him not. Wait, Ben, is that something you only see in my chat? Kind of, yeah. Yeah. Okay. My one of my mods sure mod She's there. been banning all of it. By the way, she's been hooking it up. Okay. I well, told her. I mean, yeah, I can talk to my mod son, and then they can like really crack down on it. I got you. Yeah, I I just find it really like weird. I don't I don't know. Cause, well, like... yeah. So I think the reason why is because like okay, like if you go to Tarzan's stream and you say anything he disagrees with in Suprema, right? You go to your motto stream. Why is randomly bringing my... No, it's what? true, though. It's true, though. It's true, though. You go to your motto stream, you say... If uh, like, I'm tilted, Dan yes. Only yeah. if I'm tilted. Yes, but what I'm trying to say is the thing about my chat is that I feel like the thing is that I have I can have a guy that comes to my stream and says, Dante's here, an ugly fucking reject loser, and then I'll give the guy like a 10-minute timeout, right? Well, he's so, not wrong. To be yeah, honest. and why, why is that? Are you like... Um, no, I mean, it's just because, like, I don't like know. the 10 minutes, he's gonna change his mind, especially after you time him out, and he's gonna come back with a nice, fresh mindset and positive things to say about it. Yeah, no, I mean, I, I, I get it. It should be right there, bro. Yeah, I okay, guess. So, yeah, so I can I can start, like, heavily moderating a lot more. I got you. Yep. I mean, that your chat kind of reflects the streamer, no? Like, my, my chat are like, oh, jungle's the worst forever, but I don't see, like, any actual homophobia or, like, so, Bro, when do you hear I'm me not being homophobic? I didn't finish my point. Okay. I think you just need if you put effort into it, like bring it up on stream. Like, why are you guys like shit talking attention? You know, like for who he is, great guy. He happens to like men, which honestly, good for him. He's lucky as fuck. His women are amazing, <laughs> but like harder to comprehend. <laughs> but I don't think I have to understand. Like, you need to stand up for your chat. I stand up for Ben and people like Ben. I was saying Ben's like an alien, just yeah. saying, like, you know. I mean, yeah, you know, I, just, I, yeah, I agree. One stance you take, and it's over. You'll never hear from him. <laughs> no, I agree. And when, I, when I think come in, people yeah. will tag him. Like, why is this guy not banned? That's yeah. what happened in my chat. When people start being like, "Gangplank, you out yourself, Ira." When when this dumbass your model start saying it, my viewers start saying it too. I started out at the ban one of my mods or like unmod. I told them like, "You do this shit, and you're permabanned." Yeah. So I, no, I mean, take the yeah. first stance, and I got it'll all uh, progress, and then you won't see it again because you never took action. That's your problem. I don't know. I yeah, mean, the, the, it, it is. A, sorry, for coming off. it is a shitty circumstance, but it out. It obviously is not outweighed by like playing with everyone and getting yeah, yeah. to experience. No, of course, it. I know, obviously, but it, that's yeah. But awesome. the thing is, you sh like if it's something that I can prevent, then it's something that shouldn't even be there to begin with, you know? Yeah. All right. Okay. Um. Yeah. Okay. Uh. So. Yeah. 
apart from that, Yamato, was there anything that you wanted to like bring up? Like now that we have like I guess issues, uh, Yamato, is there something you want to bring up or no? No. <laughs> you're, you're just chilling. As yeah, you might as well hear And whatever happens, happens. Okay. Uh, Tarzan. We have been given this life by Jesus Christ, and we shall die by the hands of Jesus Christ. And whatever you do in life, you just have to let it happen. Oh, sure. Uh, Tarzan, was there yeah, anything that you mean... wanted to bring up? No, I appreciate this talk. Honestly, it motivates me. I, obviously, I feel like when we're in person, th like the entire atmosphere is going to change, like not how we've been online. I agree with Ben, though. I've been kind of putting up the persona a bit too much on stream maybe acting a bit different during scrims and i think recently like once the dawn test thing happened i kind of realized i have to like put it away i guess so yeah. i apologize for that and uh, yeah this chat's been very helpful i'm really thank you as well josh for the uh insight and your uh what's the word yeah the leadership no, no 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 worries no worries at all yeah i really appreciate the time with you guys i think um i didn't aim to to fix any of your problems here i just wanted to like facilitate a discussion i think it's really important that we like uh, get things out there because especially as like males like we don't really talk talk a lot about like our problems and we don't really talk um about about what we're feeling and sometimes it's hard to bring it up in like regular conversation right so like these sessions are like really really important mm -hmm. yeah yeah, but um, I think I think that's all good. Unless you guys have anything else to to add to that. Um, I think okay. Last thing that I would say is okay. Like Tarzan, I'll I'll give you an example. Okay, so when you were talking and you were mentioning the like GPQ shit, you said like this dumbass Yamato, right? And I don't think you mean any like I guess harm with it. But the problem is that when you throw an insult into somewhere, it just gives the opportunity for it to just flare up like nothing. You know what I mean? I just really did what I just said in my last sentence, like playing up a, the character, right? Like I wouldn't actually say that or, or yeah. mean it, right? No, no, so I, I get it. Like something I want to, I know I have yeah, to work on that. Exactly. That's yeah. What I'm like, because I, that's I, why I did it right now. I completely didn't even think about that. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, Yamato. So, so that's why I was gonna say because I feel like especially um, a lot of us. Like, uh, considering we have, like, strong personalities and all that stuff, all it takes is hearing one little thing, and then you just get set off, right? And that's kind of, like, what happened with the whole TF Blade thing the other day, where it was, like, a little common, and then all of a sudden, boom, like, shouting match for, like, 30 seconds, you know? So, I feel like... I feel like when when we're talking to each other, we, we need to... And I think it'll be a lot easier in person, but just, like, view the person as, like, the person they are, Rather than just, like, the character that they play on the screen or, like, the voice in the call. Does that make sense? Yeah, I think checking is also good. Like, I should be checked. I shouldn't be allowed to do, like, whatever the fuck I want. If I'm, like, out of line, like, people should tell me if I'm not thinking, if I'm, like, not in the right headspace or not actually doing what I said I'll do. Yeah. I appreciate when you, like, check me like that because I didn't think about that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's so automatic. Like, it's I'm just so autopilot now that it's, like, I don't even think about that. No, actually. exactly. Yeah, yeah, of course. And that's why. that's why it's, like... I feel like once we actually start really looking at, okay, what is the issue that we're taking and like all that stuff, it's just going to be a lot better. But I definitely do think that one of the big things that's going to help is just going to be like being able to live with everyone, you know, being able to live with everyone, being able to like see everyone, interact with everyone uh, in person. I feel like it's just going to, I feel like it's just going to add this extra layer uh, that'll just make things like flow really smoothly. Yeah, I agree. True. Yeah, that's great. Dude, I know you guys will um I know you guys will figure it out. You seem like completely capable of this. I think you guys all uh realize the situation that you're in and also the the power that you hold as streamers, right? Uh you have like influence over your chat and even if your chat does say something, I think your words have weight as teammates, right? Yeah. The words that you say to each other mean mean a lot more than what someone in chat says to you. Right? Yeah. Oh, uh as long as you keep Booting yourself up as a team, yeah. you will so, succeed. To kind of like build off that, um, so Tarzan, do you remember like a few minutes ago you were talking about how like all it takes is you as a streamer is like uh, making one comment and then people are just going to kind of like flock to that and they'll be like, yo, like that's how we should think. You have yes. to understand that it's the same, like, uh, I mean, maybe I'm just like hammering a point that you already get, but it's the same thing with like just language in general too, right? And that's that was like the big thing that I was talking about a few days ago on my stream, where the thing is that if you approach something like i guess kind of respectfully or like from a point where it's like it's matter of fact rather than bringing in like 
personal insult or stuff like that, then the thing is, it makes people a lot more willing to listen to criticism without thinking that the person is like a bad player as well, right? Because if I say something like, oh, detention, there you should have uh, pushed out a top wave, right? Then people are going to hear that and they're just going to be like, oh, whatever. But if I sit there and I say, detention, fucking moron, how fucking shit are you that you don't push out the top wave? Then people are going to be like, yo, this guy's fucking dog shit. And then they start flaming, right? So that's why it's also important too, because we have to keep in mind that we aren't just ourselves. We are also our community, right? So all the words that you say, all the things they're going to say about everyone, that's going to affect them with all the people that are watching as well, right? So that's just like added importance for like keeping up team mental and all that stuff. Because at the end of the day, the biggest thing is that I feel like our team should feel supported by the teammates rather than at war with them. And once we feel like truly supported with each other, then I think we'll be able to like really just completely lock in, take over, and after that, it's a wrap. I agree. Couldn't say better myself. Well put, Dante. That was really good. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Um. Thank you guys for this. Thank you for doing this session. Uh, I think it was. Um. I think it was really helpful. Yeah. No. I, yeah. I did too. I so. Agree. So. Uh. Thank you for taking your time. And if we ever need you again, then uh, I'll message you and we can see what ends up happening. Yeah. No worries. Listen. If you need um one-on-one -on -one, like talking or anything else um feel free to dm me all right oh, thank, thank you guys. thanks hey, but you, you said you handle with teenagers but we are not teenagers bro you i'm, I'm gonna be girl. honest mentally we are <laughs> mentally we are 100 percent. <laughs> when you're a streamer the thing is you don't actually have to do any personal growth so you can be like 24 25 30 35 and then you'll still have the brain of like 17 18 year old you know me yeah <laughs> yeah well therapy is for um therapy is for any age therapy is really just a treatment where you where you talk things out right so in your day-to-day -day, if you talk to someone one-on-one -on -one, that's like a form of therapy so i think it's just like really helpful um in any sense but yeah. anyways thanks guys i'm gonna go ahead. all right thank you Goodbye. thank you all right bye all right bye. Uh, also guys wait, wait, before everyone goes out uh, People were saying that apparently someone was talking about bringing Nano to the house. What's up with that? Yeah, Nano said he'd be willing to like come to Brazil with us. Because like, remember your girlfriend said he should like, have like a whiteboard and stuff. When I was on C nine, like we did all that stuff and like his experience. So I don't know if you like care to that extent or if it's just like a temporary thing. But you should probably talk with him because he offered to like come as well. Mm, okay well i think the only time we'll be able to know for sure is like once we actually get there and like see the house see like how crowded everything is and then after that we can like take it as it comes all right guys so if i told you brazil is going to be a movie